All right, these are my CDs. Appetite for Destruction, Appetite for Destruction Deluxe, GNR Lies, Use Your Illusion 1, Use Your Illusion 2, Spaghetti Incident, Use Your Illusion Compilation. Now this album was like a complete cash grab, so it was a fucking waste. If you bought it, you were basically a fucking idiot. Well, I guess I bought it, so the joke's on me. Anyway, there's a crack in a case right there. This album reminds me of Ass Crack. Live Era 8793. Greatest hits. For the first time ever, all of their greatest hits on one CD. Fucking joke. Chinese Democracy. Now this has to be my favorite album cover of theirs. Because nothing says rock and roll like a fucking bicycle. Here are all my vinyl records. Appetite for Destruction. Oh shit. Yeah, I only have one. Sue me. Now here are my DVDs. Most of these are unauthorized bootlegs that I bought offline when I was way younger. So we got Music Machine 86, Ritz 88, Ritz 88 Uncut, Felt Forum 88, Philly 88, Melbourne 88, Indiana 91, Toronto 91, St. Louis 91, Philly 91, Tokyo 92, these are authorized, Oklahoma 92, Chicago 92, Paris 92, these are the rehearsals, East Rutherford 92, Chile 92, Argentina 92, Hartford 93, England 93, Paris 93, and Argentina 93, the last show with the old lineup. Now this one's authorized, this is the welcome to the videos. DVD. Then I got Boston 2002, Rock Am Ring 2006. Just stubbed my fucking toe. Got Japan 2009. And then Brazil 2010. And then good old Appetite for Democracy 2012. That one's authorized as well. Gotta love that fucking rhyme. So as I'm cleaning this shit up, I found a little bastard hiding. I also have Torino 92. Look at that shit. Now I'm going to show you some of my collectible cars. I got the first four off eBay. Now this one's kind of interesting because I got it from Australia. It's the only time I ever saw it on eBay. But it's like this bus. And the body's detachable. Which kind of makes it a piece of shit. Because like, I can never get it to stay attached. So like, getting it in and out of the box is kind of a bitch. Not that I'm fucking playing with it every day. Now this is a custom NASCAR die cast that my brother made me. I designed it and then he kind of put it together and created it, but I've always thought this was really cool. All right, and then I got this action figure slash, fuck, got this for my birthday or something. He's supposed to have a cigarette in his mouth, but it broke off, um, but it's pretty detailed. He's supposed to be holding the guitar, but... I can't really get it to fit in his hands anymore. It's pretty dusty also. So then I got these. Now the top is a bookmark that my brother also made me. And never used it or anything, but I still kept it. Uh, then I got the ticket to the first Guns N' Roses concert I ever went to in Orlando for the Not In This Lifetime tour. Then I decided to go again the next year in Miami. And then I got these. You might be wondering, what the fuck is that? Well, it's confetti from Paradise City that I got at the Miami show. Yeah, I literally was running around trying to get like one of each color. I guess there was a yellow one too, and I forgot to get it, but whatever. It was a pain in the ass. I almost fell down a flight of steps trying to get a fucking white one. But I remember being regretful at the Orlando show that I didn't do this for whatever reason. But there they are. 
Here are my books. I don't have too many. I'm not much of a reader, unfortunately, but this is Slash's autobiography. This is Axel's biography written by Mick Wall. And then this is Duff's first book, an autobiography. All right, now these are the lithographs that I got at the shows I went to. Fuck! All right, all right. All right, here it is. Now this is the one from Orlando. And then this is the one from Miami, which I think is way cooler. All right, now here are my shirts. Now, mind you, not every shirt I've ever bought Guns N' Roses related, I still have. I threw a lot of them away, but the first time I ever bought one was in second grade, and I felt like such a badass going to school with guns on my shirt. I was thinking they might send me home or something. But anyway, these first two shirts I'm going to show you, I got at the Orlando concert from 2016. Here's the back of this one. I got this one mainly because of the tour dates on the back, which I thought was really cool, and I always wanted a shirt like that. There's Orlando. Now, I wore this shirt on Halloween to work one time when I was dressed as Axl Rose. And I remember I was such a little bitch thinking that they were going to make me take it off because it says G and F and R's. So I remember I put a little black strip of tape over the F. Fucking pussy. So here's... The Use Your Illusion Tour 1991. I guess it's like a replica shirt of like what the tour shirt looked like back then in 91. Here's the back of that one. The backs are like the coolest part of like all of these shirts, which is kind of annoying. I want the front to be the coolest part, but whatever. I even debated getting this tattooed on me, on my arm or something. Yeah, I went through some pretty interesting phases, I'll tell you that. I got this one in Miami, as you can see. Not a lot going on in the front, but the back is where it's at and the reason I bought it. Oh shit, the lithograph again. No, it's actually just the back of this shirt. I like the lithograph so much that this shirt caught my eye immediately and I was like, I gotta get it because it's got the date, it's got all these cool colors. I'm such a Miami retro 80s fan with the colors and the you know the atmosphere and all that love playing vice city back in the day and this just immediately caught my eye and i was like i have to get it i went through such a fucking pain in the ass trying to get it because there like was only one left in the whole fucking stadium i guess now it's a little little bit worn out because i've worn it a lot and you know it's been in the wash a lot it's definitely one of my favorite shirts that i have i also have this slash shirt that i've had for a while now here are my autographs. I have a Slash one. This was taken when he was in Velvet Revolver. Now, I never met anyone in Guns N' Roses. I got these for like Christmas and birthdays and stuff like that. And they're off eBay. So this is the second one. This is my Axel autograph. It's kind of hard to see it because he did it in blue pen. But still a really nice picture. Obviously him at the Freddie Mercury tribute concert. And these are... Fully authentic, PSA, DNA verified. Now these are almost as cool as the autographs. These are the official merchandise plastic bags from the concert. Don't ask me why the fuck I saved these. Honestly, I think my dad convinced me to keep them for a souvenir. I don't know, I'm probably going to throw them away after the fucking video. So oh, there you have it. Please like the video, comment, subscribe, leave me any feedback, and I'll see you on the next one.